are listening to Naked Soul Reflections, Mindful Moments for Clothes-Free Living, with your host, Antu Nehard. Greetings everyone, Hantani Hart here, and welcome to another episode of Naked Soul Reflection. For the past few days, I've spent some time um, walking about in nature. The temperature's been variable here in the United States on the East Coast, and there are times when it's super cold, super, super cold, and you know, you have to bundle up, and other days it's nice and um, 60, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. And I've been enjoying the warm reprieve we've received recently just to be outside without having to be so layered and protected from the cold. And during my walks, I usually go on like a two-hour walk if I can, just to soak in nature, reflect. Um, And I noticed, you know, during this fall season, how the leaves have, how the trees have let go of leaves. And they've been shaken by the wind, It's rattling it like, instruments just like maracas and the leaves have tumbled onto the ground and I realize I have such a deep appreciation for this change it's the same feeling and awe I get when I look at trees in the spring and notice the buds getting plump and about to bloom and fill the trees with green, luscious color. I also have that sense of awe when the leaves fall because underneath all of that is the true structure of the tree itself, the bark, the trunk. And on some of my walks, I've seen some interesting shapes in these trees that I would have never noticed while all the leaves were covering them. Some of the trees grow out of the ground at a wild angle. You know, it's most trees that I've seen grow from the ground straight up, completely perpendicular to the horizontal plane of the earth. But some of these trees in my neighborhood they grow out at the wildest angles the trunk itself not even just the peripheral branches but the actual trunk sprouts up and it might be out at a 30 40 degree angle or 45 60 degrees they're just they're wild angles And these are things, again, like I just never noticed it because all the leaves were covering the trees. And so now that there's nothing covering them, I see this bone skeletal inner structure. And I'm just in awe at how these trees stand so strong. And I walk underneath them and they don't fall, they don't break. Even at these odd, unconventional angles, they never break. And we've had some really strong winds. We've had crazy winds in the past couple of months and some good storms and whatnot. But these trees are just so strong, even at these odd angles. And it got me thinking, you know, I was in yoga class a few times uh, recently assisting and I noticed that on people's bodies it's not close for yoga but sometimes if it's hot in the room folks will remove layers so that they can feel more comfortable and I started to notice how there people have different types of scars and I've really been drawn to that lately Noticing if they have scars on their chest or scars along their spine. I found that so fascinating. And these are 
things that we never see when we're so covered and protected and separated from environment and from each other. But here these folks were just going about their yoga practice and I had such a deep appreciation for whatever they've been through. You know, we I've I've always had stretch marks. I've had stretch marks since at least I was eight. So stretch marks aren't anything new to me. Cellulite and all that. I've I've had them all my life. And so no matter how old I get <laughs> You know, it's just like, oh, my body still looks the way it did when I was eight. Cause <laughs> I'm actually really grateful for that. But um, I, all the things that we've been through, you know, surgeries, the experiences, the experiences that led to those surgeries, and then there are our inner scars, aren't there? Um, past relationships people we've lost, things that have happened to us, betrayals, trauma. There's just all sorts of scars on our skin and everywhere within. Um, I remember when I was in uh, high school, I... I mean, I've had eating disorders for most of my life, but during that time, it was very much a binging and purging to the point that I had scarred my digestive system. And the doctors had to put me down and um, do a colonoscopy and an endoscopy. So putting cameras in both ends to t get to the bottom of what was happening inside of me. And it's just fascinating when we turn the gaze inward to really look at ourselves and um, and see and really see. So, and I've been in a very reflective state lately, um, somber, reflective, even sad at times. But a sadness that I appreciate, just being in reflection and thinking about all the different things that I've walked through in my life. And most of the time, there's still some feeling of shame or pain that comes up, whether I feel ashamed about things that I did or I feel pain reflecting on things that were done to me but I will say that I also have times where I just sit <clears throat> sit and observe and appreciate the scars that are on my skin as well as the scars within so I want to invite you to take some time and a two-part exercise. For one, I invite you to go outside and whether you're in the Southern Hemisphere and are enjoying spring as things bloom or you're in the Northern Hemisphere and things are cold and there's a lot of letting go and falling, I want to invite you to go out into nature and observe a tree or plant of some sort and really observe the structure and the pieces on the surface and the pieces beneath the surface. And have a moment of awe and gratitude for just how beautiful all of these different pieces are in nature. Notice the different shapes. Notice how, you know, unconventional, if you will, the shapes can be and how those plants are still standing strong and resolute no matter what they've been through. And maybe some have fallen and seeing, you know, I have that too on some of my walks. Um, I'll see fallen trees and my heart just gets full when I see fallen trees because they create such an interesting shape in the picture. 
And can you see and have an appreciation for that? And for there, from there, I want to invite you to then observe your own scars, unconventional shapes, anything about you, um, and reflect on things that you've been through. And sure, acknowledge any emotions that come up with it, and see if you can journey to a point where you stand in awe of all the things that you've been through and how you're still here. You made it. No matter what pain you've been through, no matter what you've done to others, here you are. And can you have an appreciation for your true structure, for your tree, your inner and outer tree, whatever you look like inside and out, can you just observe, take in, and just have a moment of awe? I'm finding this to be very helpful during this season where there's just a lot going on and I'm just making, trying to think about next steps in life and just as I do that, as I try to look forward, there are all these things that resurface from my past and I think if I can have a moment of awe and gratitude, I can also step forward. There's a kind of freedom that happens. When I allow myself to just observe it, give thanks, and then walk forward. So I invite you to do that this week. The two-part exercise of observing the shapes in nature and the stories of nature and observing the same of yourself within yourself. My heart is with you, and I wish you a beautiful week. Namaste.